In the previous tutorial, we covered how to generate your terrain procedurally by going up to Terrain, Edit Terrain, and going through the Generate Terrain options. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to manually paint your terrain. So let's go ahead and delete and flatten our terrain. And by having our terrain window open, we can modify and paint in the height map right in here in the terrain editor. There is another option by going up to the roll-up bar clicking on the second tab on the terrain and we can modify and paint our terrain through here without going to the edit terrain window but before we go through these menus let's go back to edit terrain and use the terrain editor to get a general shape of the map that we want our terrain to have this is very helpful to kind of get a general outline the shape of your terrain so in the terrain brush options we have quite a few options we have flatten, rise and lower, big height, smooth same options you will find here as well so first let's kinda get a general shape of the terrain and then we will cover how to raise and lower and uh, modify and smooth everything else out so you have outer radius and you have inner radius these two control the terrain brush you have the outer radius which is the outer edge of the brush and you have inside radius which is the inner edge of the brush so we can increase this a little higher and you can see that we are currently on smooth and our inside radius is grayed out so let's switch over to flatten and we can modify the flatten outside and inside you also notice that we have sync radius for all types if we click on this this allows to sync radius for all types regardless of whichever one you choose if we modify our auto radius and we switch over to any other value with the exception of pick height this will stay at the values that you defined for one brush and it will translate to the other if we click this off and we modify it to the other values it will not translate to the other brush settings so this is a very helpful function to if when you want your brush to be set at the same value for all of the functions for your terrain so let's paint the general shape let's go to flatten uh, we have the height which is the height at where our general outline the shape will be raised to the water level at default is at 10 meters and our terrain currently is at zero so if we bump this up to 100 it's going to come up 100 meters up as its highest point and flatten the terrain so if we begin painting right now we can see that it will come up 100 meters let's clear this again we want to maybe bring this down a little lower let's bring this down to about 30 and the hardness we want to bump this up hardness controls how strong the effect of the brush is so if we bump this up to a high value the brush settings will have a stronger effect and lower value it will be a lot softer so if we bump this up to one and paint it's going to be a lot stronger than if we bump this down and paint so let's erase this so what we want to do is we want to have our outside radius and inside radius the same and we want to bump up the hardness at one so now by going up to height setting it to our, some lower value we can begin to get a general shape of the terrain let's say we want to outline something like this and just paint everything in inside so if we go into our map let's close this for a second press ctrl G to jump inside the map we have a general shape of our island once we have our general shape defined let's cover a few other options in the terrain editor right up here on top you have various brush presets that you can choose this will set your brushes to predefined settings and you have opacity settings as well you have low medium and high so let's close this window and now we can go into the roll-up bar into the terrain tab and begin painting in our terrain in the perspective viewport through this window you do have an option of painting in perspective viewport with the terrain editor open and using the terrain bar settings here but once we define a general shape we can get rid of it now 
to clear up our interface and use the Modify tab using the Rollout Bar settings. So let's go through some of the brush settings. Flatten, as we talked before, will flatten the terrain to a certain height. You can define the height in here by choosing the value that you want. And this value is in meters. Or you can do it in the perspective viewport by holding down control. You can see that the icon has changed and this will sample the height where the cursor is. So if I hold down control and left click, this will set the height to a value where my cursor was. And now I can begin painting the rest of the terrain to that height. Same thing, we can choose something lower and flatten the terrain to that specific lower point. We can turn down the hardness, which controls the strength of the brush, and maybe turn down the inner radius a little bit. And if we choose the lower point, this will not be as strong as before. This will smooth out a little easier and gradually. We can also enable no noise settings for all of these brush functions and this will set up a noise every time we raise the terrain or lower it this will give us a little bit of noise and variation within our terrain. Now let's uh, go down to rise and lower. This will rise or lower the terrain and again we have to set some of these settings. So let's uh, turn down the hardness and the inner radius and the outer radius to where we like. Let's bump this up a little bit. So if you left click and drag this will elevate and raise the terrain and if you hold on control this will lower the terrain. So this is a quick and easy way when you're working with your terrain. Left click to raise it, control left click to lower it. Uh, if we go to smooth this will smooth the terrain down. Again we can choose the hardness, the strength of the brush. We can see that the inside radius has been disabled so all we have is just a soft smooth brush and if we go over some of the edges this will smooth out all the terrain and get rid of some of the hard edges that we have currently. And pick height allows us to pick a certain height where we click and give us the height value. Now we can get this value by going on the flatten, hold down control and clicking anywhere in the terrain this will do the same thing. Another couple of functions if you scroll down we have reposition objects and reposition vegetation. These two are very helpful when you have vegetation placed onto your terrain and you have positioned various objects on your terrain and you need to modify and repaint some of the elements. By clicking and checking these on when you paint your terrain and if you have any trees, any grass, any objects positioned and this will reposition the vegetation and the objects and modify them to fit your terrain so you don't have to reposition them again. And by getting closer to your terrain and seeing it from the player's point of view you can get a sense of how large your terrain is. You can also quickly jump in and check it out in the perspective viewport by holding down control G. And you can also combine the two options that we covered. So we covered how to procedurally generate terrain and how to manually paint it. You can combine these two by going up to Tools, Generate Terrain. And once we have something going, we can close this off. We can go to the Terrain tab, Modify, and we can begin painting some of these elements on already created terrain. So this is a really quick way to kind of get something going by using the procedural generation terrain. And then we can modify it manually and more accurately by manually painting in the rest.